The robot crouches, twists its torso, and locks its gaze on the camera. For a moment, you forget it isn't flesh and bone. Boston Dynamics didn't just build a robot, they built something eerily human. Atlas used to be a stunt show. Hydraulic legs would leap, backflip, and dance for internet applause. But that Atlas was retired in 2024. In its place came a new machine, a fully electric Atlas, sleeker, quieter, and far more capable. This wasn't just an upgrade, it was a shift in purpose. Boston Dynamics said the new Atlas was built for useful work, not circus tricks. Real jobs in real places. That meant factories, warehouses, and disaster zones. Places where robots can step into human shoes. What makes this Atlas different is its perception. Cameras and sensors scan its world in three dimensions. It builds a map, updating in real time as things shift. The robot doesn't just see shapes. It measures depth, edges, and friction to predict how objects behave. In a fact, demo, Atlas lifted engine covers from a bin, carried them across, and stacked them neatly. Each cover weighed several kilograms, yet Atlas handled them with steady balance. If a cover slipped, it adapted mid-lift, adjusting grip and pressure in seconds. If the bin moved, it rerouted and changed its path without pause. Engineers say Atlas can rerun these tasks hundreds of times with near-perfect accuracy no pre-programmed dance. It was thinking on its feet, responding to changes like a trained worker. That adaptability, paired with sensors feeding millions of data points each second, is what sets this machine apart. Atlas runs on one model for everything. Walking, balancing, grabbing, it all comes from a single brain. Most robots need separate systems for each task. Atlas doesn't. This is called a large behavior model, and it was built with help from Toyota's research team. The result is smooth, fluid movements, like an athlete adjusting mid-play. Numbers add weight. Atlas stands about 1.5 meters tall. It weighs around 89 kilograms. Its electric motors drive limbs with torque stronger than humans. Each arm can push with force close to hundreds of newtons. Joints rotate beyond natural ranges with angles no athlete could attempt safely. Watch it spin its torso and you'll feel unsettled. The rotation is smooth, controlled, yet unnatural in its precision. Engineers say Atlas can recover from slips by twisting joints far beyond human range. It looks like a person, but moves in ways only steel allows. Test videos show Atlas lifting heavy objects near its own weight without stumbling. Its sensors track balance a hundred times each second. That constant feedback loop lets it shift weight instantly, like an acrobat on a beam. That's why people say it feels too human, close enough to trigger instinct, but strange enough to feel alien. For spectators, the uncanny feeling comes not from looks, but from movement. Each crouch and rise carries rhythm we associate with life, not code. Atlas is quiet compared to its old self. The hydraulic hiss is gone. Electric motors hum instead. Quieter motion means less distraction in workplaces. It can stand near humans without overwhelming noise. The design also means fewer leaks, fewer repairs, and more reliability. Boston Dynamics made this clear. This Atlas was meant to leave the lab. The secret fuel isn't just hardware, it's data. Atlas trains in simulation. NVIDIA's Isaac Lab lets it practice thousands of times before trying once in real life. Picture a sports team running drills, but at super speed with no risk of injury. Atlas learns balance, grip, recovery, and even collision handling inside a virtual gym. The system models slopes, stairs, spills, and obstacles, forcing Atlas to adapt. Then those lessons transfer to its real body. Engineers say it can run through the equipment equivalent of months of training in a single day. Years of practice compressed into hours. Every twist, crouch, and lift is tested virtually before it happens in steel. The payoff is resilience and real use. Atlas can fall in simulation, learn from the mistake, and avoid it later. Data from millions of trial runs shapes each movement, turning raw motors and sensors into a robot that feels prepared for surprises in the real world. Think about the scale of learning. A human worker takes weeks to master lifting techniques safely. Atlas runs that training hundreds of times in simulation within a day. By the time it touches real parts, it already knows how to move. That's the advantage of combining physical design with virtual practice. The robot doesn't waste time failing in the real world, but can it leave the lab? That's the challenge. Real factories are messy, floors get slippery, lighting changes, people walk across its path. Atlas has to handle all of it without freezing or failing. In demos, it already reacts to resistance, shifts weight, and reroutes. If that scales up, Atlas could stand shoulder to shoulder with humans at work. 
Boston Dynamics gave Atlas flexibility humans can't match. Knees bend in reverse. Torso twists far past our limits. Joints can spin angles that look impossible. These aren't just tricks. They allow Atlas to grab boxes from awkward spots or lift loads in tight corners. Engineers say it can squat lower than most athletes, then spring back up while holding heavy parts. It's built for jobs that tire humans or strain backs. Tests show it can carry weights for extended minutes without slowing, repeating moves consistently. That capacity makes Atlas ideal for repetitive lifting, tight assembly zones, and rescue work in collapsed sites where angles are extreme. It can crawl, bend, and reach with precision even in narrow gaps. Movements that would injure a worker's spine become routine for Atlas thanks to reverse knees and twisting joints. This level of flexibility gives it access to spaces where only children or small rescuers once could reach. Factories see value in that reach since complex layouts leave little room for error. Atlas's design makes awkward, risky tasks safer, faster, and more reliable. Safety matters. Atlas has sensors to monitor force and speed. Emergency stops can cut power instantly. Battery systems are sealed, cooled, and monitored with sensors. Fire suppression runs through ceilings. Crews drill emergencies. Inspectors check daily. Boston Dynamics knows trust is fragile. No company wants a robot accident on record. That's why safety systems are as important as motion systems. Look closer at the build. Electric joints mean fewer hoses and less bulk. The design is more compact, more balanced. Cameras sit in the head, feeding constant streams of vision. The torso houses batteries, cooled with fans. Arms end in hands designed to grip real tools. Every part is shaped for work, not show. Atlas doesn't just mimic us, it generalizes. One brain, whole body control, that's the leap. It's not just a stunt robot anymore, it's a worker in training. Imagine Atlas in disaster zones. A collapsed building blocks rescue crews. Humans can't fit into the gaps. Atlas crouches, twists, and climbs through debris. It carries supplies, lifts rubble, and makes paths. Its human-like size lets it use the same ladders, doors, and stairs. That's why Boston Dynamics pushes this shape. It's not random, it's practical. Now think about endurance. Robots don't tire. Atlas can repeat the same motion for hours, lifting, carrying, placing, without strain, without complaint. Engineers measured repeated lifts, numbering in the thousands without errors. In factories, that reliability is priceless. Each hour saved means money earned. Each avoided injury means lives protected. Picture Atlas carrying heavy parts down a line for an entire shift, never asking for breaks, never slowing. Where workers rotate to avoid fatigue, Atlas maintains the pace. It can work nights, weekends, and holidays, giving companies steady output. The impact is not just speed, Speed, but safety. Every motion handled by Atlas is one less chance of injury for a person. This kind of endurance is why factories watch closely. It offers both economic and human benefits. Behind the scenes, Hyundai has a clear interest. As Boston Dynamics parent, Hyundai builds cars. Imagine Atlas moving auto parts, hauling loads, or working in tight spaces. Picture it sliding under a frame to align a panel or holding a part steady for welding arms. These aren't flashy roles, but they are valuable. Dull, dirty, and dangerous tasks come first. Simple jobs repeated for hours where mistakes don't risk lives. Think of Atlas carrying wheels across a line all day or positioning heavy batteries batteries into cars with precision. Hyundai spends billions each year on labor and logistics, and robots like Atlas could cut costs while keeping workers safer. This is where Atlas fits, not as a stunt star, but as a tool for the toughest jobs. Every detail of Atlas shows preparation for that future. Balance, grip, strength, endurance, quiet operation, safety systems. It's a mix of human form and machine advantage. The unsettling part is how familiar it feels. Watch it crouch and twist, and you'll see a shadow of yourself. Launch day for the electric Atlas was only the beginning. Next comes trials in factories, warehouses, and maybe rescue sites. Expect setbacks, expect hype, but also expect steady progress. Because Boston Dynamics has turned Atlas into 
something new. A robot that looks human, moves beyond human, and works toward tasks once thought impossible. Boston Dynamics made Atlas too human. But what everyone's missing is this. It isn't here to look human. It's here to work. Factories, warehouses, and disaster zones will be its stage. The value comes from lifting boxes, carrying loads, and crawling through rubble. Those practical tasks will prove its worth, and that changes everything. If you want more breakdowns of robots that actually work, subscribe so you don't miss the next test.